Another chilly morning began Marathon Weekend here in Boston as the countdown to the 117th Boston Marathon continues. Hi everybody, I'm Tony Revis. Welcome to Day 2 of Run Center, brought to you by Adidas for the 2013 Boston Marathon. We're here at our anchor location at the Town Stove and Spirits on Boylston Street in the Back Bay. And once again, all 27,000 runners are scanning ahead for the forecast. 37 degrees this morning, but we do still anticipate a warming trend, but perfect conditions for Marathon Monday anticipating a 43 degree start in Hopkinton and only 57 degrees or so for a high for the day here in the Back Bay. Well, in the news yesterday, it was announced by BAA President Joanne Flaminio that mile 26 of the marathon will be in honor of the Newtown, Connecticut shooting victims, all 26. So 26 stars will surround the Newtown, Connecticut town logo and the colors of the Sandy Hook Elementary School will also be on that sign. Now also, the John Hancock Expo began yesterday, and at 2.30 in the afternoon, the Adidas store was already doing a brisk business, most probably for all the warm gear. Well, racing began in earnest today with the 17th BAA Kids Relay. It took place on Boylston Street between Exeter and Dartmouth. 750 athletes from 17 area schools. They all ran 300 meters up and back. 10 kids per squad. Tons of fun with that. Tomorrow, the big kids go racing as we have the BAA Invitational Miles and the 5K. Now the 5K is the kickoff event for a three race BAA distance medley series. It begins with the 5K tomorrow, then the 10K in June, and in the fall, the BAA Half Marathon. Combine the times of all three of those events and the winner, both the male and female, get a $100,000 paycheck. It's the biggest non-marathon paycheck in the sport, unfortunately. But notwithstanding, both defending champions are back. Kim Smith from New Zealand and Ellen Kiprono from Kenya. But both those athletes will be tested tomorrow. Dejan Gebrel Meskel from Ethiopia, he's the Olympic silver medalist at 5,000 meters, is coming off his third straight win at the Carlsbad 5,000 just last weekend. He's the odds on favorite. In the women's race, Kim Smith will have to contend with Wartnesh Kadani from Ethiopia as to the invitational miles. 2008 Olympic silver medalist, Nick Willis from New Zealand is here to contend. 22-year-old Ross Murray from England, a 3.52 man, was a semi-finalist at the Olympic 1500 meters in London last year. In the Women's Invitational Mile, Kalkagan Gazai from Ethiopia, who was the 2010 World Indoor 1500 meter champion, is returning after Achilles surgery, which knocked her out of the entire 2012 campaign. She'll take on Heather Camp, the U.S. Road Mile champion from 2012, and Brenda Martinez, who was fifth place last weekend at the Carlsbad 5000, Last fall, she won the Fifth Avenue Mile. And once again, we've got our Ann Westling, the intrepid Ann Westling, out on the streets and at the Expo asking that age-old question. Well, here's Ann. Thanks, Tony. Well, for most people, this might be the best part of the Boston Marathon, the finish line. But with 26.2 miles along the way, we decided that we should ask you, what's your favorite part of the Boston Marathon course? Probably the last half of the race or la like mile 20 to the end. Um, Why is that? It's the hardest. <laughs> the last five miles, I've only done the first 21, so I haven't experienced the last five and I heard it just, it gets crazier. The best part of the course is early on when you're out in Hopkinton and it's real quiet and you have just kind of uh, the trees are there, there's not a lot of people yet and you have just an opportunity to kind of get into the zone. Early on in the course, it really gets you going. I'm really looking forward to just seeing all the people, especially over at Wellesley College. I've been kind of mentally psyching myself up for Heartbreak Hill. I would say running through Wellesley College, of course, with the screaming, with the screamers. I love the hills. I love the hills through Newton. I love running by the big homes. I love all the families out, you know, like the kids are out there and they've been out there, they're exciting, they're waiting for something to run by. The top of Heartbreak Hill. Why is that? Because it's over with at that point. <laughs> You know, there's not a favorite part. I think it's just the whole Boston experience. I think I'm just going to go balls out. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say that or not, but uh, and we'll see what happens at the end. And now joining us on the Run Center set is the Elite Athlete Coordinator for the Rock and Roll Marathon Series, Matt Turnbull. Hi, Matt. Glad to be here. Thank are you. Are you cold as I am? I'm as cold as you are, absolutely. Right, probably colder. It's going to get warmer on Monday. Well, it's like London weather, for <laughs> heaven's sakes. Uh, Listen, tremendous fields. We have nine men who have run under 207 in Monday's marathon, including our defending champion, Wesley Career. But Wesley Career just ran for Parliament and won an office on March 4th. He campaigned for three months. Can you campaign for a national office, win the election, and compete against other guys who are laser-focused on running the marathon? 
Well, we'll find out on Monday, but he's got the talent to do it. I mean, he's proven that he's a, he's a world-class athlete. Um, if, he can, if he can win here, he can win anywhere. So I'm, I'd love to see him defend, and we'll wait and see. Now, the 2010 winner of the New York City Marathon, uh, Gebra Merriam from Ethiopia is here, and I know he's one of your favorite athletes, and he's got a couple of his training partners with him as well. Yeah, he's, uh, he's world-class. He's, he's been to a few rock and rolls in the past. Uh, we had his wife in Carlsbad last week as well, mm -hmm. Wirknesh Kadani, and Gigi's a wonderful guy, and I would love to see him win. I would love to see him win. You know, no disrespect to the rest of the field, but he's one of my favorites, and he can go quick. He can go quick, and you know, this might be his time. Let's move to the women's race, where Sharon Charop is the defending champion. She looked fantastic in Philadelphia last year. She ran rock and roll Philadelphia, and she looked unbeatable for me to to win in uh, New York. I think Ruti Jeptu could be the one to beat. I mean, I can't wait to see Karen Shalane duking it out. It's gonna be wonderful here. And she's a little under the radar when you have people like Tara Goucher and Shalane Flanagan. Knowing Sh Shalane's personality, she mm. will go for it, that's a thing. And she needs to go for it. And I, I hope that she can, uh, hope she can bring it home for the USA. If there's ever been an American champion, uh, since 1985, this could be the year. This, this is the year. I can't wait to see Shalane and Cara going for it. Shalane, Cara, Rita Jeptu, I'd love to see that top three come down this road right here. 14 women sub 227. We've got nine men sub 207. We'll see what kind of times they'll post on Monday at the 117th Boston Marathon. That'll wrap up this edition of Run Center from the town stove and spirits. For the very cold and shaking Matt Turnbull, I'm Tony <laughs> Revis. Don't forget to go to competitor.com for all things Boston Marathon and join us tomorrow. Run Center, day three.